Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to upload a map and make it interactive in Nearpod for your students to practice their map and geography skills. So I'm in my Nearpod that I'm working on already, and I've already taught them the physical features of the map that I want them to label, and they've watched a YouTube video with a cute song with it. So now I'm ready for them to show me what they know. So I'm going to go to add a slide, activities, and then draw it. This will open up a blank screen for you. If you just save it like this, it'll give your students a blank background that they can freestyle on, kind of like a blank canvas. But I have a map uploaded already, so I'm going to go ahead and get that and put it as my background image. I would strongly recommend having your background image ready to go so it doesn't, it's not a time suck when you get ready to do this. I usually just get it from my Google Slides that I prepare to load into my Nearpod. So now that my map is loaded, I can adjust it if I need to or do whatever I need to do to adjust it. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to my media box, which is to the left of my instructions. And in my media box, I can put a variety of things, an image, a video, a PDF, an audio file, web content, or even do make an audio recording. So that would be really good if you had special needs students or younger students that needed help getting through the instructions. But today, I'm just going to give my students a word bank. So I already have it saved because that's what I like to do. And I just made it in Google Slides and took a screenshot of it. So nothing fancy at all. And you don't even have to upload a word bank. You could just type it in the instructions if you wanted to, and that would be fine. So now I'm going to give them instructions. So use the word bank to label the physical features on the map. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for the directions. Now, I like to add a timer because I don't like my kids to get too um, feral with the, uh, with the activities. So I'm gonna give them three minutes to do this because we've been working on it for a while and this is their review. So they should be able to label these seven uh, or nine physical features pretty quickly. Now, I wanna show you what it looks like from a student perspective and what they'll be doing on it. So save your image and then click save and exit your Nearpod. Okay, from your Nearpod home screen, you're going to go scroll over the Nearpod you want to look at and click preview. It's going to load. Do not click these buttons down here yet because that's going to launch a code and then it, it gets weird if you try and edit it again. So we're just going to go and click the preview button on the side and we're on our last slide, which is number nine. So I'll meet you there. Okay, I found my activity. So I have my directions. I have my word bank, and this button here is my friend. Um, it makes it full screen so that you can see it. So now I can look at the word bank, and then I can find my word that I want to add and get rid of it, and click on the text, and I can even pick a color text that I want. So let's do red. I can drag my box wherever I want to go, and we're going to go right here, and we're going to type in Persian Gulf, because that's where that is on the map. And then I'm going to put it where it needs to go. Um, you can resize it and you can move it around and get it where you want it to show where your image is on the map. And then just click off of it and it'll save it there and then go get another text box. So that's all your students will have to do. They can also upload different images onto the map. Um, so if you wanted them to do an activity where they upload an image, they can highlight things, they can draw. So there's a variety of things that they can do on this, on this map or on anything that you upload to the Draw It feature on Nearpod. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.